Are you sick and tired of doing essays and exams and making sure that everything is perfectly memorized so you can get an A+. Well, I have something just for you. An AI bot known as ChatGPT that can make essays, answer your questions for math or science or literally any subject. As well as it sounds really good, it has many pros and many cons. And I'm going to explain to you that in this video. Initial release date was 30 November 2022. And from there, it got so famous that many people started using it. Even students, like college students, university students, and even unless they're like year 7 or whatever. So, what the problem is, in ChatGPT, it has lots of plagiarism, which leads Leaded to lots of confusion and people started getting a C or an F and then still sort of changed the policy. So in logging into ChatGPT is actually very easy. You just search ChatGPT and log in. Although ChatGPT is very very nice, it has it supports you with lots of answers, lots of ideas, okay, and it gives you very nice information, but it also gives you some incorrect information. And I want to show you why in this video. Anyways, jumping back into the interface right now, this is how the interface of the ChatGPT looks like. And and right now I'm writing to write me an essay of any cool topic that is what I'm writing and let's see what it gives how how the structure it writes for the topic and what topic it is actually choosing and we're also gonna see if it gives the right information or not so right now it wrote quickly pretty quickly and it took some time okay and it wrote so long that I had to stop generating this says one of the coolest and most fascinating topics to explore is the idea of the multiverse. The topic of this above was about the multiverse and I read this through and it actually was written very nicely. The structure was very nice, the ending um, was good but it could have been better. And the, um, the idea or the content, I'm not gonna lie, was actually very good. But nowadays many school academics are really looking in plagiarism and if you send this to your teacher, they're gonna spot this out. And there is an acceptable reason for this and ChatGPT also also says in their website that why this happened. Right now, I'm going to show you some feedback from ChatGPT itself. A common question was asked, can I trust the AI? Is it telling me the truth? And the answer was for ChatGPT that it says ChatGPT is not connected to the internet and it can occasionally produce incorrect answers. It's limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021 and it may also occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. The research said that it's very very bad for the real life world because most obvious examples being wrong medical advice. ChatGPT also gives wrong medical advice and also internet scams will become easier. So there have been lots of internet scams wrong produced answers which has caused much confusion. Schools are using plagiarism websites to detect any AI or ChatGPT usage and also teachers are informed to ask their students what they have written about in their exam and or essays and really take a very good note on what's happening. These restrictions and websites and apps, now more and more students are actually writing purely by themselves. So many teachers are giving these students um, more physical assignments than written assignments. Don't smile too much because still teachers are also with physical assignments. They are all still going to use written assignments. So I'm sorry for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I had so much fun making this sort of techie video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Bye.